What's up, guys? I am vaping with Mr. J. And I'm loaded. It wasn't a big clay up, but no big deal. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying I got actually two reviews. I forgot to do a review of the profile last week. Um, so yeah, this video might be a little long. We shall see. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the profile. So, what I noticed... It is a really, really good RDA. I've had fun using it. It vapes great. Every now and then I have to adjust the cotton because the cotton kind of sags. And then like edges of the uh, mesh itself will start to glow red. So you gotta gotta play around with the cotton. Maybe I'm just not putting enough cotton in there. Um, I, I don't know. But uh, other than that, like once you get the cotton readjusted, it vapes great for a while. And it is. <laughs> yeah, um, might have to swap batteries out here in a second. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let me go ahead and swap batteries out real quick. Um, and I will pump her up to, pump her up to about 60 watts because I've actually been vaping at that. I kind of turned it back down while I break in the cotton and everything. Yeah. Because I'm sorry, pumping at 60 watts on a fresh cotton belt or a fresh cotton, um, even though you have a liquid on there, you can still taste that cotton. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Well, with mesh, I don't know that that, that might be different. I don't know. But when I do it to, with most of my RDAs, it does. That's why I turned down to about 40. All right. Four so we'll go ahead and bump her up at, to 60 watts. No, we don't want to go that high. Don't go 100, did it? <laughs> no, thank you. I am not looking for a burnt hit. What? I just said I'm not looking for a burnt hit. 100 watts would be way too much for mesh. We're gonna go ahead and get a little, get a little I'm back up here. And I got, I got bottles down there. I got bottles everywhere, man. So as you can see, it puts out a decent amount of vapor production. Especially coming off a single mesh. A single mesh build. It's uh, It vapes really good. The flavor, oh my god, the flavor is on point. It's really easy to re-wick. Uh, really easy to clean. You just get like a glass with a little bit of tap water. Get it glowing red hot. Dip it in there. Pulse it a little bit. Pulse it for a little bit. Get it to glowing red hot again. Then It's kind of like... Get Reach right here. It's like the thing with uh, shampoo and conditioner, lather, rinse, lather, yep. rinse, repeat. So, but yeah, yeah, no, um, you just repeat that a couple times and the mesh will actually come pretty clean. Um, also, one thing I noticed with mesh, uh, even though the mesh gets gunked up, it doesn't lose its flavor that much, even if you've been using that cotton for a week. Well, the cotton will look dingy because, well, mesh burns gets a, or not really burns but it gets a lot hotter than say regular coil because it's so much more thinner there's less resistance there and not to mention you're also pushing about anywhere between 50 and 60 watts through it which is what i found that the um the watofo mesh works best at is around 50 to 60 watts i think 60 watts being the maximum you really want to go on it yeah but um, it vapes great. It's got great airflow. I thought it was going to be kind of restricted. But on it, I mean, it is a little restricted, but it's not like drop dead restricted. The airflows are kind of similar in a sense that they both use little pinholes and everything. Um, but uh, it vapes great. It's got great flavor production, decent cloud production. It's not like a, I wouldn't say it's a cloud chasing RDA. It's sort of like how the Buddha's a cloud chasing RDA. Um, <clears throat> but the flavor out of the mesh with the mesh that I'm using is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to see how long the mesh actually lasts and might come back with you with an update whenever the mesh is finally ready to be changed out. So yeah. Um, what would I rate the RDA? Well, uh, functionality, I'd give it about a 6 out of 10. Uh, looks wise, I mean it looks really sleek, so I'd give that about a 7.5 to 8. And, um, yeah. 
I mean, I've had better RDAs out there that have way better airflow, but if you want something that's a little bit restricted and more of a, I would say, a flavor producer, go with the mesh. Mesh is really good for flavor, even out of sub ohm tanks, like sub ohm mesh tanks. Yeah. yeah. The thing about sub ohm tanks, I'll tell you this, like the one I have that uses mesh, it's not pretty good cloud for it. Yeah, well, the Cerberus also uses mesh as well, and the flavor is pretty good on that. I think anything now with mesh coils usually tastes a lot better than regular round wire. Especially if the coils are NI80 or Nichrome 80. Or N80, not NI80, N80, which is Nichrome 80. Or even Nichrome 90. Um, but alright, so. Come and talk about the Smock RPM 40 kit. This is a really good kit. I have not used the um, the Nord coil yet with Nick Salts because I've been enjoying this blue raspberry cotton candy. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. And one thing I have to say about this, this does not use that much juice. Even with the little 0.40 ohm mesh coil that's in here, the RPM coil, uh, it doesn't use that much. It doesn't go through juice that quickly, which is typical of a all-in-one or... Um, pot style system um they usually don't use a lot of juice um yeah i'm gonna have to question that the vapor at 14 watts i think that's the sweet spot i've tried vaping at 25 watts which is its best but with the juice i have in here i think the juice is just a little bit too thick so it's have a little bit of a hard time wicking up but uh banging at 14 watts i can take super long hits and um yeah. so you can take super long hits with it i got a thousand and two puffs on here um, really comfortable in the hands charge is really quick too i was really surprised um Charging off my laptop, I can get about... It charges within an hour to two hours. Something like that. So the charging time is really fast on it. So downtime with this device is usually not that long. Uh, just leave it on the charger for about an hour, two hours to be fully charged. And you can go back to vaping it. Uh, the coil. The biggest thing that I hate about Smok was their coils. Or Smoke was their coils. Their coils suck. They absolutely suck fucking suck but i'm really surprised with the rpm 40 coil or the rpm coil the mesh coil because i've been vaping on this for a week and you can ask motor over there i've been chain vaping but i do say the Nord has good coils um because as we mentioned i don't know coil, i just i honestly i felt like i went through Nord coils more than what i should have i did i still well this one. But this one, right here. But you also have, you also have to understand I'm using the uh, the the uh, lower the lower own mesh coil instead of the ceramic. Or I'm using the mesh coil, and I was banging like 50 milligrams out of that. And nicotine will destroy your fucking coil heads if it's not designed for that. This is mesh. <laughs> this is the mesh one. I yeah, but don't you have like what 35 in there? Right now I got this guy right. Here in there. Want, all right, all right so that's free base. Again, like I said, I noticed one thing about Nick Salt is if a coil or a coil head or yeah, a coil head's not really designed or rated for Nick Salt, Nick Salts will actually destroy that coil faster. And just to let y'all know, since y'all own there, I mean, since you're on that subject. I would recommend using a ceramic coil because that's what it's designed for. Yeah. It's a certain purpose. But uh, this vape's great. It's got great battery life. It goes up to 40 watts. Um, quick charge. Looks gorgeous. It's just a little... It's kind of like a little square with rounded edges. And I got mine because I'm in a rainbow kick right now. I got mine in rainbow in this little design here so uh what would i rate this little device well i'm going to rate this on three things i'm going to rate the device itself 
uh, rate the uh, the pod itself, and then the coil. All right, so for the device, it's a really good device. It, it's really quick on charging. Again, like I said, about an hour and a half to two hours, somewhere around there. So with that being said, and it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty basic. There's no temperature control or anything like that on here. For a beginner device, in my opinion, um, if you use the uh, the Nord coils, if you use the Nord coils, then it could be a beginner device. But with this, uh, this pod right here with the uh, RPM coil, just puts out way too much vapor for a beginner to be able to handle. Um, and um, so the device uh, as a beginner device I'd give it about a 7.5 that's the device itself I thoroughly enjoyed using it I haven't had any issues with it um, the pod the pod is really easy to take well really easy to take in and out it does require a little bit of force um, but it just snaps in uh, I like the way it's designed the mouthpiece is absolutely amazing or the drip tip, whatever you want to call it. Um, really amazing. So I'll give the pod about a 5.5 to 6. And then the coil. Uh, I'm still on the same coil from a week ago. I haven't opened my uh, my new coil yet. So the coil, I would have to give that. I would give that a 6.5. You know how long it lasts. Typically with small coils, I usually get about maybe three or four days out of them, depending on if I'm chain vaping or not. But uh, definitely, this is definitely, I'm trying to find my other coil. Uh, this is definitely a great little kit. It's $40, or it's $40 at my vape shop. Um, so yeah, uh, but <clears throat> it's a great little kit. I like it. Um, if I lost one, I would buy another one. If I lost this one, I'd buy another one, to be honest. The only thing I wish they would have included was a fucking lanyard. This thing's actually really light. Yeah, really. The lanyards help. Speaking of, I need to get new pods for my Miko. Um, so yeah. Uh, as the overall kit goes, I'm going to give it about... 7.5 to 8 and that's including everything the other pods uh the charge cable just like everything and um for the price you really can't go wrong because you can use two different style of coils with it like they each have their own individual pod and you can use nord coils with it as well um so yeah i would recommend this device anyways go ahead show what you got motor yeah like i said I want to get new Miko pods, but let's just say, here's the device that's in my hand when it starts off with that, because I kind of want to hit off of it. It is the Epic. It's called Epic. Looks like a jewel. Real small. Real thin. Thing fits in my pocket a lot better than this guy. Wow. Kind of. This. Pull it off. Comes with. This kit came with five of these. Are they different yeah. flavors? Yeah. Yeah, the jewel's the same way. Like, the jewel. I actually have a jewel, which I need to do a video on one of these days. But the. Um, the jewel That's came with Cool Mint, Virginia Tobacco, Creme Brulee, and Mango. I have not tried the mango yet. I have tried the Virginia tobacco and creme brulee. I love both of them. I also love the cool mint because I've always been a menthol fan. So, And for reference, if anybody's wondering, this is what a jewel looks like. And at the moment... Uh, let me see. Where's my other jewel pod? Okay. 
Okay, that's a pod for my zip. Alright, I'm going to have to raise you guys up real quick. I'll continue. To... Here it is. Okay, so actually what I have right here is the creme brulee. This is creme brulee. That what's in the jewel is Virginia tobacco. Actually, let me double check. I think my jewel is dead. I could be wrong. And I also have some extra Virginia tobacco pods too, so... But, uh... Where the hell did I put the jewel? Keep talking about your little device. Um, as I said before, guys, <clears throat> it looks just like the jewel here, but uh, this is blue. It seems this is like grayish black. And the torture it comes with right here. Looks cool. It magnets to the pond. Oh, here it is. And then you plug Take this a... into a USB. Yeah, this is Virginia tobacco. It's dead though. I need to charge yeah, it. One of those chargers. Stand up. And, uh, Motor. You got one of those too? Mm hmm. Magnetic. I guess. So Epic I can literally hold it upside down, charge it upside down. I actually I have it plugged into a, a three way connector here, and I use an iPhone charger to charge it, and it seems to work exactly fine. Uh, I'm guessing Epic must be the <coughs> their own version of uh, Jewel because this is basically the same as that. Mm hmm. Uh, but yeah, here's the box it came in. Box. Yeah, it looks. It, it's. I, I think that's what it's trying to mimic is jewel because look. Exactly. But here's the question that bothered me when I got the ingredients in, and it's like, what the heck is benzoate acid or whatever? Uh, let me see. Never heard of that. Sure, yours might have the same thing. But. Uh, I think so. Mine, yeah, benzotic, benzonic acid. I forgot what that. Or benzoic is. acid. Uh, let's see, glycerol, propylene glycol, flavor, nicotine, and benzoic acid. Let's see, one jewel pod contains point. 0.7 milliliters with 5% nicotine by weight, approximately equivalent to about one pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Same here. And I got these the color code. So what uh, flavors do you have for yours? I don't know what the red, <clears throat> in the red one is supposed to be. Uh, I would think the red one would be like a full flavor cigarette. Then there's an orange one. A brown one and the green one I would know is menthol. I just tried that and that shit is strong shit. Yeah. It's really good your jewel. I know I I know we uh, like me and Beast we always talk shit about jewels, but honestly after using one Um I have to say I kinda like it because it's small, it's compact. Also not to mention like my grandmother literally got this for ten dollars off the Jewel website, or she had ten dollars off on it, or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it went, but she had a coupon for it. She used the coupon, and uh, yeah, well, she gave it to me. So you got the Jewel for ten dollars? I think so. I could be wrong on that. This was like twenty for me for the whole starter kit, though. But uh. Yeah. I like it. I took it to work, and oh my god, I had a few people at work. So like, let me take a hit off of Joe. I think you'll love this. One of my friends was like, 
<laughs> and I'm like, yeah, strong. And that was for real. That shit was kind of a strong view. But it's great. Now, I was skeptic about getting pods like this in the past because, <clears throat> especially with what's been, what's been happening in the, in the news, THC. Yeah, but you're not. Um, you have to understand that pot and THC isn't legal in our state, so you're not going to find any any in, in any stores. I know, but I mean, at the same time, it's like I was skeptical about and you really think that pod manufacturers like Jewel and Epic and all that, like, you really think they're going to lace that shit with THC that has vitamin E oil in it? Hell no. And, I, and you would think they wouldn't jeopardize their company. I mean, look, I think the reason why they tried to ban it in the beginning, you know, a few months back when all this ban bullshit was happening is... Like we said before, cigarette companies losing money. So well, actually, I watched this guy, and yeah, it's not really theory. It's actually kind of factual in what he said. So basically what he said was is this tobacco manufacturer decided to get somebody to make Juul. That way, if there was a problem with Juul, the FDA could just lump all vapes together and ban them outright. Basically. And then he came back with the confirmation that uh, his brother works with a guy that works for Big Tobacco that said that's exactly what they're trying to do. Not to mention get hit kids hooked on uh, jewels and everything. Well, here's the thing that's making the hint to plus the way I see it. Tobacco companies will do anything to try to be the big dog again. The the vape industry is making more money than the uh, tobacco and cigarette companies alone. Cigarette company, cigarette prices and cigarette uh, sales have dropped for the first time mm -hmm. in a long time. Let's say about twenty years or so. And of course, wouldn't you get upset if you were your company was losing money? Mm -hmm. But would you go as far as to frame? Oh. They're making people thin. I wouldn't sabotage somebody's uh, life, you know, lifestyle, or making money off of mm -hmm. the industry of vaping. But at the same time, cigarettes kill people. And I, I, it really made me sick to think they're going to blame vaping been out for 15 years and all of a sudden. But you won't stop something that's been around for hundreds of years that's been killing more people. Well, and, I always looked at this way. I'm not trying to take up for cigarettes and tobacco, but back in the 1800s or old Western days, nobody was adding chemicals to cigarettes. You really didn't hear people dying of tobacco back then. That's because, like you said, it was pure tobacco. They didn't waste that shit with nothing. But like once Philip Morris and all of them came around, they wanted to make they had they seen dollar signs, and what basically happened was they put all these chemicals and additives in there to get people addicted. That way, they would buy more and more and more. My grandmother made a very good point to me tonight because we got to talking about drinking, which we got. If you watch our Laga channel, we actually have a little treat for you guys tonight. But um, she said, the more people have, the more they'll do it. So, in the case, if somebody has a lot of cigarettes, if they have a lot, and I mean a lot of cigarettes, they'll end up smoking more. I had an aunt that used to smoke a carton a week. Well, maybe My a grandfather week. goes about between two and three packs a day. Between my cousin and my aunt, they'd go through a carton. I used to thought the carton was the box. No, the carton is the, comes with about 20 boxes in it. Something yeah. like that. But yeah, that's all I had to say is this thing is amazing. I brought this for work. And this makes it good, especially depending on where you were. And again, they should have included a fucking lanyard. For these, yeah, that'd be cool. Instead of carrying it in my pocket, man. I carry it in my small little shirt pocket sometimes, but it'll fall out when I bend them. 
or the stack that one yeah. of them powder and all that. But what do I rate this? I've never had one, so I'm gonna have to be fair about it. I give this a six point five. Yeah. Like half. I mean it ain't no it's not one of these. By no fault, but it does the trick for the day. For daily use. I mean, it almost feels like hitting a secret, but safer. A safer one. A safer one. It has the same feeling of a secret, but safe. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be alerted when we upload new videos. Anyways, I am Vaping with Mr. J. And I'm we are signing out.